Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by yet again for another video. I do appreciate that. Um, you know, we're just coming off of, of you know, Hurricane Harvey. And actually, it's, it's obviously still going on. It's still going to be going on for a while now, uh, unfortunately. But um, um, there's, you know, the news just gets even worse because there's another potential storm that could uh, be a very very strong hurricane that the impact on the US is not known yet but it is heading th this way and it is heading towards the Gulf um, now will it end up in the Gulf I don't know so I'm not gonna you know make trying to make any predictions on my own let's just get into this story and you know and, and find out what it says here it says, on the heels of Hurricane Harvey, Tropical Storm Irma forms, U.S. impact unknown. Um, it goes on to say, for a nation reeling with the devastation of Hurricane Harvey on Wednesday came some unwelcome news. Another possible threat was brewing. Tropical Storm Irma has formed in the Central Atlantic Ocean, the National Hurricane Center said. It poses no immediate threat to land, and it's too early to know its track, forecaster said. But as you can see here, we'll just pull this up real quick. This is its predicted, uh, uh, you know, direction as of now. So if you if you keep pushing forward, there there is a possibility if you look at this that it somehow ends up in or around the Gulf. I mean, it's a possibility, right? Um, it, it goes on to say the trouble. Okay. It says, as of 5 p.m. Eastern, Irma had 60 mile per hour winds. It was located about 2,000 miles east of the Leeward Islands and about 3,000 miles southeast of Miami. Um, it says Irma is moving about to, to the west at about 13 miles per hour. And the storm is forecast to strengthen into a hurricane by Thursday or Friday with winds estimated at 75 miles per hour. A tropical storm becomes a hurricane when its sustained winds reach at least 74 miles per hour. Irma will take about a week to make its trek west across the Atlantic Ocean, AccuWeather said. Um, weather Bell meteorologist Raya Mayo said Irma will likely become an intense hurricane with Category 4 or 5 strength near the Leeward Islands of the Caribbean. Caribbean. So th this, you know, that's not good news. I mean, this thing's going to be strong. This is, you know, another Category 4 or 5 hurricane possibly heading towards the Gulf. I mean, like, we can't predict that yet. And, and I pray and I hope that it doesn't happen. But regardless, this is going to be a very dangerous and, and devastating storm as well. So, you know, I... I you know, we just have to pray that it doesn't head towards the Gulf because they can't take another storm. You know what I mean? Like, this is just um, insane. But it says the Category 4 storm has winds of at least 130 miles per hour. It is still way too soon, however, to say with certainty where and if the system will pack the U.S. After weather hurricane expert Dan uh, Kotowalski cautioned. Possibilities range from a landfall on Leeward Islands in the northeastern Caribbean to the Carolinas and the island nation of Bermuda and everything in between, he said. So, see, it's it's still too, too soon to even predict. So, yet another storm could spin up in the Gulf of Mexico by the weekend, however. If this system does develop, it could bring additional rainfall to portions of Texas and Louisiana, the coast, which it just doesn't need. Like, this is this tragic, you know, horrible news, like... Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific Ocean, a developing system ha that's expected to become a tropical storm, Lydia, later Wednesday, has prompted a hurricane watch for portions of Mexico's Bahama Peninsula. So, I mean, these storms are coming from every coast right now, it seems, right? <clears throat> I mean, the, things are getting crazy right now. Weather is getting crazy. The, these, these storms are getting stronger and bigger. And they're doing more destruction, more devastation. <clears throat> so my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved in Harvey and, and possibly Irma. This huge category, possibly Category 5 storm headed west, possibly towards the Gulf. And, another, you know, this is, you know, I don't know. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved. And let's, let's just keep praying that this storm doesn't head towards the Gulf. And... Um, Again, I appreciate every single one of you. 
and I appreciate you watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.